In the hock shop, of course, they had all kinds of things like a, a drill. <laughs> so I started modifying this into a seven string while I was there. They had all those little things lying around to do that with. The other thing I kind of wanted to ask you about is, is you've got a long and, and uh, uh, interesting history of modifying guitars, adding a seventh string. Right. Um, the the pictures from the early 60s of you playing a national triolian with a with a neck that you made yourself. Oh, Jesus, and, that and had it had a seven string on it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You, when I picked this up, you told me a story about about uh, picking a guitar from a hawk shop and modifying it in the shop. Yeah. Do you mind telling that story for the for the cameras? Well, that was that happened when the the, the other on the other one of my guitars that had gotten stolen. I'd been playing in Detroit, and some it was in somebody's car, and we went in. I don't know if we went in and have drinks or whatever. When I came back. The guitar had been busted into, I mean, the car had been busted into, and the guitar was gone. And I was hitchhiking out of Detroit uh, to eventually get to Johnson City, Tennessee. I forget exactly why, but I did have a friend down there. I got to some good-sized town. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe Memphis, maybe something else. And got in a bus station so I could take a uh, bus to Johnson City. This is early in the morning, and I was sitting waiting, and uh, in the door came three blues guys with instruments. They were getting on the same bus as I was. This was Sleepy John Estes, Hank Rachel, Yank Rachel, and Hammy Nixon. <laughs> this is these are the real ones from the past. Yep. You know. Yep. So I, I got on the bus with them. Uh, Hammy Nixon had a bottle, which I was allowed to partake of. And uh, Sleepy John went to sleep, of course, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But anyway, I got to Johnson City, and uh, I, I went to a hawk shop to see what they had for guitars. They had one hanging up there. It was not a good guitar, but the neck was okay and the plate okay. And uh, it was 15 bucks. And uh, of course, the one I had was a, uh, I'd made into a seven string. And uh, in the hawk shop, of course, they had all kinds of things like a, a drill. <laughs> and uh, so I started modifying this into a, into a seven string while I was there. They had all those little things lying around to do that with. Yep. Got it all done, played him a few tunes on it, gave him the 15 bucks, <laughs> and that became what I played for a while and was often told that I should get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it played. That's, I, a, that, that's a guitar you had at Newport. In that, I, one that. of the years at Newport, <laughs> there's a picture of me playing it, and for decoration I took a magic marker and drew some little pine trees and hearts and stuff on it. It's terrible, but except that it played okay. <laughs> I love it. Way back when, you know, in the, in the late uh, 50s, after I'd met Tony Glover and Dave Ray, uh, there was a friend of ours named Mel Leslie who had a, a coffee shop over in Oakland, Washington. It was in his mother's house, actually, and downstairs he converted into a little coffee house. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he had uh, invited up to play there from Chicago, uh, Big Joe Williams, who was another one of the old greats, mm -hmm. uh, blues, blues players. And uh, he had a, uh, a, a guitar, which was a six string modified into a, into a nine string. Uh, his bass strings were doubled, yep. like what I've done on one of my other guitars. And uh, it was a bit of, it was crudely done, you know, but good enough to, it, so it worked all right. And uh, it was a bit of a revelation to me that you could do things with guitars if you wanted to. You didn't have to leave them the way you got them. Right, right. And that began my trying to add extra strings and, and do other things to guitars that uh, made sense to me. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, and it worked, obviously. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worked for a long time. Enjoy this. Good luck with it. 
I'm I, glad you got it. I have already <laughs> been enjoying it very much. And, and honestly, for a great giant portion of my life, I've enjoyed the music that you provided to the world and your influence in, in both solo and with Willie Murphy and with Dave and Tony. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, and it's important, and I appreciate yeah. it. And thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. We're See good. You. Palmers. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And thanks, everybody, for cooperating with us. We appreciate it.